My name is Anthony Gomez and I'm a registered nurse. I work in pediatric critical care. I'm also a lieutenant in the U.S. Navy and I serve as a critical care nurse having deployed to Afghanistan to serve in a combat trauma hospital. The sickest patient that I took care of was a young first lieutenant in the Army. And when he came in, you know, you could imagine somebody being wheeled into the hospital, they're still in their uniform, they're still covered in dirt and sweat and blood. You, you look down at the edge of the stretcher and there's, there's nothing there where there should be legs. You don't really let that sink in while you're doing your job because you have a guy on the table that needs your help. It wasn't until afterwards when everything's calmed down that you let it sink in and like, wow, you know, what this person has gone through, the kind of road they're going to be going down afterwards. You start to soak in the gravity of, of what is going on around you and the role that you're playing. A couple months into it, I found myself just kind of de-stressing. As part of that, I, I liked to listen to music. There was just one song that came across, um, Pandora. And I was so taken in by this song that I kind of let everything else that I was doing just kind of stop and I just, I listened. I wasn't worrying about what was going to happen the next day. I wasn't, you know, I wasn't focused on, you know, news from home anymore. I just, I literally just kind of let everything that I was doing at that point just kind of go. And I, I closed my eyes and I just, I let, just let the music play. And it was a release, you know, I was temporarily no longer in Afghanistan. Paul's music really came at just the right time for me. Having come home from Afghanistan, I still find myself using music as a way to cope with just the stress of everyday life. I became a registered nurse because I wanted to help people. But how I got into critical care, I, I, it wasn't something that I initially thought I would want to do. But it kind of fell in my lap and I found that I loved it and have done it ever since. The smallest decision 11 years ago that got me into critical care to begin with was all part of the plan that led me up to me serving my country. The community support, is the second time around especially, has been great. Same thing with the support that I have for my coworkers who are very proud of what I'm doing. I think we all have a purpose. There's something that we're all meant to do. My purpose was to be in Afghanistan and caring for troops, but you know, Paul's purpose for me was to you know, write music that would help me cope with that. The nervousness is not as much this second time around. I'm more excited and looking forward to serving. I'm better prepared and I'm able to use the lessons learned from the previous deployment and apply it to this one.